It's that time again, the Prime Vault has cracked and Rhino has pulled Mag through. I was actually going to say that the other way, where Mag has pulled Rhino through, but I thought that's too easy of a joke to make, to be honest. These can, of course, if you do want to purchase them, be purchased as two separate packs. You have the Force Prime pack, which is obviously Mag Prime, the Dakra Prime, the Ball Prime, the Distilling Prime Extractor and Blueprint, the Mag Prime Glyphs, 400 Platinum, and of course, the much sought after Torgus Prime Armor Set. Then of course, there is the Brute Prime Pack. This obviously is Rhinos with the Boltor Prime, the Anki Ross Prime, huh, the Distilling Extractor Prime and Blueprint, again, weird. Rhino Prime Glyphs, the 400 Platinum, and of course, where it belongs, the Noru Sandana. Just like to correct a spelling mistake in the forums on that one, it's Noru Prime Sandana. Not Noru Sandana Prime, it's actually Prime Sandana. But anyway, this belongs on Rhino's back. It does, it, unlike Embers that for some reason now lives on Frost's back whenever there's a Prime Access with Frost or Ember in it, this one came with Rhino. It belongs with Rhino. It's back with Rhino. It should stay with Rhino and only reappear when Rhino Prime comes. The annoying thing is the price comparison. I think it worked out at, despite the fact I cut the prices out, um, $40 each? Uh, yeah. The original Prime Access that brought all of this stuff, but a lot more Platinum, was closer to 100 but of course you can also buy these two together if you are going to buy them separately. Buying them together is obviously cheaper. You get 12, uh, 1,200 platinum instead of just 400 twice. You obviously get Rhino Prime, Mag Prime, Bolto Prime, Anki Ross Prime, Dakra Prime, Boar Prime, the Distilling Extractor Prime, the Togas Prime Armor Set, the Neuro Prime Sandana. I nearly said it wrong because I'm reading it off the screen. And of course all the Prime Glyphs as well. But you do not need to purchase these to be able to get them. There is new relics. The only reason I'm really mentioning the packs is I know the Noro Prime Sandana is, and yes, I do keep going to say Noro Sandana Prime because that's how I've got it written, because that's what the notes say, the release notes. But anyway, the Noro Prime Sandana is no longer the rarest Sandana in the game. It was, but because it has now returned, it's not anymore. And the Targus Prime armor set people have been asking to come back for so long. It's good to see it finally come back. But like everybody else, I do agree I would have loved to have seen it split so there was a Prime accessory pack that would be the Nuru Prime Sandana, the Targus Prime armor set, maybe the Glyphs as well and the Distilling Extractor that was separate to the rest of it, like the Prime Access has, that doesn't have the Platinum, if they release that at the same price as maybe the Brute Prime pack itself or the Force Prime pack itself, they would find more people buying that than the actual frame versions. They could probably charge as much for that as the entire pack, and people would probably pay it because there's a lot of people who have Mag Prime and Rhino Prime, who just want these accessories. So yes, I do agree they should have done that. But the relics are going to be the way to go with these. The reason I'm saying this is, obviously these will be around for... Well, it's weirdly questionable. PlayStation 4 region dates are kind of weird, because it's not out today. Uh, well, it is in North and South America. In Europe and Asia, it's June 28th. And on Japan, this will come out on June 29th. And the whole thing will be around for... I'm trying to remember. It's 35 days in total. It's basically until the 1st of August when Mag Prime, Rhino Prime, the Anki Ross Prime, the Dakra Prime, the Boar Prime, the Boltor Prime, the Targus Prime, the Nuru Prime Sandana, and all the Platinum and everything else if you buy the Prime Access stuff, go back into the vault. The parts will stay, it's the relics that go back to the vault. So in the meantime, the best thing to do 
is farm the relics. The relics are going to be the way to go if you are actually doing this. Farming the relics, not the parts. Luckily, when it comes to the relics, there is only four new ones. And if you go to universe and then, once you're in the codex, go to universe, then relics and arcanes and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see it. There is the Axi R1 relic and you come here, you can see where it is and what parts are actually on there. Same with the Lith B1, the Meso M1 and the Neo B3. To be fair, the only weapon that doesn't seem to have a rare component to it is the Dakra. Mag has two, no, Mag has one. So the Ball, the Baltor, Mag, Rhino. Yeah, the Dakra doesn't have one because they managed to fit them all onto only four relics. Weirdly, they did post the stats for how, where the relics come from and how hard they are to get. And it looks like the Lith B, Lith B1 relic is going to be, it literally just says Easy Spy Vault 2, 12.5% chance of getting it. The Meso M1 looks like that's going to be just in the nines. Easy Interceptions on Rotation C. Neo B3 Relics looks like they're going to be easier to get from Medium Interceptions on Rotation C. Or basically Zabala Eris Rotation B because they have 12.5% chances as does Mott. That's the Void Node, which is also a 12.5% chance of getting that. Axie R1. The chances of getting this seem to be better on Hard Interceptions Rotation B with a 12.5% chance of dropping one. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.